Real decisions that move your life along are not coming out of your emotions, they're coming out of your head. Real opportunities that God would open up for you have to come out of your head and not out of your feelings. You, there are so many people that are so abstract and they're just moving along from day to day out of their emotions and their fear. I don't know, I'm just not feeling it today. I'm just not feeling it today. Come back on Thursday. I might be feeling on Thursday. I'm not in the mood for this. I can't handle this. I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. And every time you do it, you are canceling out opportunities because it is with the mind that we serve the Lord. A person who does not function out of their head is a person without government. A person who moves totally out of their emotions is exempt from the greater opportunity than life because you will forfeit what God has given you because of how you feel. God did not promise you that your feelings would line up with the facts. How many of us are living a headless life because we have not separated how we feel from what we know. You can't, you can't work with people like that. You really can't work with people like that because if I criticize your work, it doesn't mean I criticize you. And to have to babysit your feelings when I don't have time to babysit your feelings, I need you to correct the problem and go back to work. It's not personal. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm sitting your ass down, TDJ. It's not personal. It's just the facts. You know what I'm saying? I got to sit your non-godly, non-heavenly, non-holy, non-graceful, non-merciful, non-forgiving ass down. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got to sit your ass down, tear down your altar, and don't let nobody listen to your ass no more. That's what we going to do to you, TDJ. It's going to be just like Farrakhan. We're going to wipe all them old sermons you got off the map. You know what I'm saying? Like this one. You snuck and put on my page. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I'd rather go by feelings, and the truth is in the feelings. The feelings is in the heart. Like I say, I come to turn the heart of the fathers back to the children, and the heart of the children back to the fathers, lest I set the earth with a curse. And you have no part of the heart of the fathers that I want to put in the children of God, TDJ. You not the one. You know what I'm saying? You a devil and a Satanist that I see. I don't see no God, no godliness, no heavenliness, nothing in you. You just a boss. Now what you say? Tell them to go on back to work. If you do it right. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's why your ass. Isn't you know. that what God told Cain? Why is thy countenance fallen, Cain? Why are you tripping out about this stuff? Why are you jealous of Abel? If thou doest not well, will I not receive you? He said, I'm not against you, Cain. I'm against what you did. And if you fix what you did, I'll bless you like I bless them. So stop tripping. Now, you tell yourself exactly what you're supposed to be simulating God telling Cain. So, TDJ, you need that whole goddamn message right there, your goddamn self, your devilish self, your satanic ass, your demonic ass. Need that same sermon right there because you can't be acting like God, acting like you teaching God this stuff when you exactly the devil, you know, that goddamn sabotaged Adam and told him. I sabotaged you and I could have helped you. But I wanted you to lose your opinion. And then talking about, where my money? Where my money? We ain't come to raise the dead. Got the same God that lied and said, it pleased God to bruise Jesus. In each stripe you heal.
like Jesus died for the ungodly. No, he didn't. And the ungodly ain't what you think they is, TDJ. The ungodly is the judging and accusing devil. You know what I'm saying? Not people who go to the club and 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 smoke and drink and stuff like that and have fun and have sex. That ain't against God. But what is against God is judging and accusing what you preachers had all wrong. You know what I'm saying? Judging and accusing the children of God. And then acting like you God doing it. And you know God don't judge and accuse. Jesus told you my father don't judge and accuse. Yeah, coming on my page trying to get something started. Hello, hello.